What's poppin'? I am the voice of the voiceless. Talk to me, spirit. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna tell you what your forecast is gonna be looking for in 2023. We're gonna start with the fire signs. <coughs> what messages do you have for Aries, spirit? What messages do you have for Aries? Show me clearly what is the energy for 2023 is looking right for my Aries. What does 2020, 2023 energy is looking right for my Sagittarius? What do they need to know, my Sagittarius? Is there anything else that Sagittarius need to know bringing in this 2023? Spirit, what do my Leos need to know for bringing in this 2023? What is the energy for my Leos in 2023? For my Aries spirit. For my Sagittarius. For my Leos, what is Aries love life gonna look like? What is Sagittarius love life is going to look like for 2023 spirits? What is Aries love life looking like? I mean, Sagittarius love life looking like. What is Leo's love life looking like for 2023? What is Aries finances looking like for 2023, Spirit? What does Aries finances looking like? For Sagittarius, what does their finances energy looks like? And for Leo, muchas gracias. Aries, 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 Aries was popping. Going into 2023, you're going through major healing of your heart. Aries, you give 110% to people. You give to people that's not loyal also. Spirits want you to start giving that loyalty to people that gives you loyalty. If you keep feeding stray dogs, they keep coming and they go back and they keep bringing more stray dogs and more stray dogs. Okay? That's how you make enemies. Start setting boundaries. Archangel Raphael is trying to heal your heart chakra. Start forgiving yourself. Start working on your inner child. Start loving you. The mantra for opening up your heart chakra is Anahara. Burn a blue or white candle. Call forth your higher self. Forgive yourself. Write yourself a love letter and say Anahana. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm here. I'm never leaving you. Okay. The number 38 can be significant to you. 34 can be significant to you. Aries, this is going to open up your door to personal healing and happiness. When you start falling in love with you, you start trusting your spiritual team. You start trusting in, in God, the Holy Trinity. You start surrendering and letting them know, feel like they have your back. So by you healing with Archangel Raphael, this is going to open your door to personal happiness and healing and, and happiness. Have the courage to confront your blind spots and turn them into strengths so that you may step into your power. Learn to accept criticism, Aries. Understand you are a leader. You are a natural born leader. All right. You take back your power, your energy, your money, and your time. All right. Learn to not to use your eyes, but lose your ear, use your hearing. 
okay? Stop judging people by what you see. Stop judging people by what you hear. Go deep within. Sometimes people can lie to get you to turn against a person and you don't even know that person. There's two, three sides to a story. Yours, that person, and God, okay? As far as your love life, you're going to meet someone that y'all going to become close friends, best friends, and y'all going to turn to lovers. This is going to be a true love for you, Aries, so your divine being is coming in. This is going to be your best friend, and your best friend is going to turn to lovers because spirits want you to be best friend first before you become lovers. You're going to be falling in love with you and falling in love with this person. This is your divine being that you've been asking for. As far as um, finances, they want you to be devoted. Do what you love. Your loyalty and hard work is about to pay off. Don't give up. Do what you love. Don't, it doesn't matter who doesn't like it. Everyone has their own sad story. Moving on to Sagittarius. <coughs> Sagittarius coming into 2023, you're going to have a lot of envious people not liking you because you're stepping up to the front, all right? The number 20 can be significant. 20 breaks down to two, duality. Also, Spirit is saying sometimes you can be self-sabotaging yourself. You can be jealous of yourself. You can be envious of yourself. But you have many doors opening up for you in 2023. This is your completion. You're about to shine like the precious diamond that you are. 24 can be significant. You could be born on the 24th of the month. Two and four breaks down to six, baby. It is victory. There's a lot of doors opening. But you got to realize these doors are opening and a lot of doors are closing that you will not be able to open back up. Okay. Scorpio, Spirit is saying you're going to be meeting someone that is a Scorpio. This is going to be very sexual with you, okay? Y'all going to be sharing secrets. This is going to be intensified uh, healing energy. You're about to experience something very powerful and profound in your life. You will be forever changed. So Spirit is saying this person is coming into your life. Is going to be the one. Spirit is also saying, Sagittarius, you need to do cosmic dance. You need to dance with yourself. This is going to help that trauma that's in your hips, men and females. Y'all both have trauma. Cosmic dancing, dancing with your ancestors. Celebrate your capacity to be joyous and take comfort in knowing that your path is one to success. You are getting ready to get blessed. Someone is missing you. This can be a Scorpio placement, sun, moon, or rising. Someone is missing you. They wish they would have treated you better. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Now they saying, what did I do? They missing you. Y'all had amazing sex. Also, this is going to come back for y'all meeting someone that's going to be in your life. This divine partner going to be a Scorpio and y'all going to have amazing sex. As far as your finances, health is wealth. Stress and fatigue affect you now. Keep safe your mental, emotional, physical health. You have to take care of your well-being before you can enjoy the benefits that the universe is about to get you. Health is wealth. Start taking care of your health. This has something to do with your mental ability, your emotional ability, all this, all right? Moving on to pal three, Leo's. 12 could be significant to you. Thir 12 breaks down to 3. 3 is uh, collaborating, celebration. You are going to be meeting more spirits, Leo. You are a temple, a holy place. Your body needs to be kept holy to invite spirits in. Spirits don't like dirty negativity. So Leo's, if you gossiping all the time about other people, and I mean, just to be doing it, you talking a lot of shit. Spirits don't like that. Then you wonder why you're not progressing in your spiritual journey. It's because you're negative. You always gossiping. So cleanliness is next to godliness. You're going to have to take care of your temple. You're going to have to stop gossiping all the time. You need to mind your own fucking business. You want to tell everybody else's business, but you don't want nobody to know your business. So spirits is not coming to you because your temple's dirty. It's because all you do is gossip. 
You don't know how to say you're sorry. You don't know how to apologize because you have a lot of pride. Spirit is saying you're going to have to let that go before you enter into this 2023 uh, blessing. 11. 11 is a master number. Okay, you can really step into your cornucopia. Spirits want to take you. If you go where the spirits reside, spirits are going to take you where the money reside. But you got to let go of this gossiping. That's all you do. It's all I see is birds chapping. That's what your lips is like this all the time. Gossiping about other people. Just because you don't like them, that's your personal reason why you don't like them. Stop trying to turn everybody against people that you don't like because it's getting ready to backfire on you. So Spirit is saying you need to take this time to work on you and work on your mouth. Your uh, throat chakra is over um, overworked, okay? It's too far open. You need to balance that and stop talking so much about other people, all right? Are you not going to get this cornucopia that's handed for you? And this is not for all Leos, okay? Some Leos are not like that, but some, y'all do gossip a lot. Y'all do like to talk about other people, all right? Moving on, 19, y'all need to rest and meditate. Rest and rejuvenate. Y'all need to meditate. Y'all so busy on the phone talking, y'all not doing y'all spiritual part. You wonder why spirits is not coming around you. It's because your temple's dirty and you're gossiping and you're not meditating like you're supposed to. Okay? 19 is a significant number. One and nine makes 10. Makes yeah, nine, one and nine is 10. Endings, that has to end is gossiping. Number eight can be significant for you. You could be born on August is Leo's time, all right? You indecisive about certain things on which road to take. It's because you're gossiping, you listening to everybody, and you're not hearing from spirits because you're doing too much of this. Spirits don't have time for that. So you stuck at the crossroads. You don't know how far you want to go on your spiritual journey. For some of y'all, y'all want to take it further and become a priest or a priestess. Okay? You really do. But you got to let go of a lot of stuff. And Leos, y'all do got a lot of ego and pride that y'all going to have to let go. Y'all trying to get to a higher place? Expect to go on a trip a mission or move from place you're currently in to somewhere unexpected. Some of y'all are staying at a place y'all don't want to be anymore. Spirit is saying y'all about to go through a transformation. Y'all about to get moved into a different place. As far as your love life, be the change. This is what I'm talking about, Leo. You have to change. Your throat chakra is overactive. All you do is gossip. You're very powerful. Okay, spirits don't like that cocky stuff. You get ready to meet someone new. Someone new. New in this lifetime, but different in another lifetime. So you have to be changed. You have to. You have to start learning to listen and stop gossiping so much. As far as your finance, it's time to pay back loans, taxes, mortgages, courts, big banks, tax collectors are at the door. Spirit is saying it's time for you to pay some bills so you can get out of debt. Another way you can get out of debt, you got to remember to burn ancestral money. Y'all slipping. Y'all slipping. Then you wonder why spirits are not taking you further. It's because your temple's dirty and you slipping. You need to slow your roll and check yourself before you wreck yourself. Peace, love, and light. I shall.